What's up guys, Andrew here on my channel Geared Inc. where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you and on my channel that's PC Tech, Games, and Gear. And today we're doing a reshoot of my Ryzen 1200 streaming video because there's been some updates since then and I had actually released a video but somebody pointed out I kept referring to the Ryzen 1200 as Ryzen 2. I was not trying to mis mislead anybody, I literally just had a brain dead moment I guess but throughout all the video and then even my thumbnail. Um, I'm talking it up to a brand new baby, just new dad brain, basically. So I apologize. I was not trying to mislead anyone. Um, if you watched the previous video, I took it down pretty quickly once I realized my mistake and somebody on the forums where I hang out have pointed it out. But I wanted to reshoot it correctly and obviously label things correctly. So I'm not misleading anyone or trying to create clickbait. That was not my intention. So as far as with this new set of tests, um, there was the new optimization with OBS, AMD, and with Microsoft, um, and so I wanted to kind of see if we could get a better testing method uh, methodology, especially because somebody had pointed out that with my other testing, I had used a GTX 1080 paired with a Ryzen 1200, which isn't a necessarily a fair assessment because if you're buying an entry-level CPU, you're probably pairing it with an entry-level GPU like a 1050 Ti. So, redoing these tests, I was actually very surprised with the results. I'm gonna list all my methodology and the specs down below, and I'll touch on it as we go through the video. But for the most part, for OBS and uh, for Shadowplay, I'm using recommended Twitch settings, which is uh, 720p um, output, 60 FPS, 3500 bit rate, and uh, for Shadowplay, everything's the same except 30 FPS. So, in terms of our first game here, we have Overwatch. Now, this is already a highly optimized game to begin with, but you can see through the stream that we are not losing any frames. There's one or two moments of stuttering, but overall we have a tremendous experience, uh, something that's absolutely fantastic to see. Um, it's one of those things that's pretty impressive. Now, the CPU was pegged at 99% um, for this game and for everything I was using for OBS. If you drop down to 30 FPS, that changes down to about 80%, but still a uh, great stream and uh, this is on high settings. Moving on to Grand Theft Auto, a more CPU intensive game, I was surprised to see that we had a very clear experience. Now the settings obviously are at normal or medium, but it's still nice to see that even with a game that you wouldn't think would uh, give you this kind of stream, you're able to get that, especially in these fight scenes um, with uh, where there's bullets and things going on. Uh, there's no drop frames, you still get a very clear and concise experience. Now that is not the same the state of a new game um, like Star Wars Battlefront 2. At 60 FPS using OBS, under no circumstances was I able to get a clear and concise stream. You can see here that it's basically atrocious, nothing that you'd ever want to put up on stream or show to your friends for sure, and then even dropping down to 30 FPS to alleviate CPU usage, we're still running into the same problems. Um, tons of stuttering, artifacting, it's absolutely um, not something that you would ever want to stream to anybody or show off. And uh, PUBG, obviously the worst optimized game probably played right now, it's the same story. At 60 FPS using OBS, it's simply not able to keep up with the game itself, and again, it's a very poorly optimized so it's not something that you would ever want to show off um, or stream out to anybody realistically if you're wanting to use OBS. Now before um, I had used Shadowplay, um, Shadowplay obviously uses the GPU to encode rather than the CPU and I wasn't expecting much out of it or I was at least expecting drops in performance as you're putting more stress on the GPU. Absolutely not the case. So what was fascinating was going to Star Wars Battlefront 2 we're able to get a very clean stream. This was surprising to me because I wasn't expecting um, us to have you know, something like this. Obviously you're losing the customization of OBS, but you can see here at medium settings at 30 FPS, 720p output, you're able to get a very clean stream on a newer title using the GPU to encode through Shadowplay. Pretty impressive. Um, PUBG was even more impressive because I was expecting more or less the same, but in both these games, the FPS of the actual game itself didn't drop. You're able to have a very clear stream um, throughout the entire gaming process. And even in PUBG, when you're getting into fights like I did right here, um, your frames are staying within those, um, you know, 50 to 60 FPS, obviously with the 1050 Ti. It's not being affected at all by the GPU encoding, which was pretty shocking to me. So guys, after doing these new tests with these new optimizations, I would say 100%. If you are wanting to get a Ryzen um, 3 1200 or uh, Ryzen 3 1300X as an entry level CPU to stream, you can absolutely do it. And if you pair it with the 1050 Ti, you can use Shadowplay when OBS um, isn't able to quite keep up, or not OBS, but rather your CPU. It's one of those things that if you're um, you know, using it up to that point uh, with OBS and then you're not able to stream anymore, if you're willing to lose a little bit of customization and some of the other settings and you shadow play instead, it was pretty um, shocking 
that I was able to get such a consistent stream. So once again, guys, thanks for watching. I apologize for the previous uh, mis uh, mix up on when I filmed this the other day. But if you like this video, leave me a big thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and leave me a thumbs down. Get subscribed either way. I want to hear back from you. My channel is growing. Thank you so much for my continuing subscribers and those who call me out when I make mistakes. I'm not above learning if I accidentally do something wrong. And obviously, I wanted to remake this and do it right. So we hope to see you next time here on Gear Inc.